Welcome to Everyday Photography. My name is Chris and I created this channel so that I could share with you different tips and tricks about photography. I'm going to be doing reviews of different camera lenses and different cameras and different camera equipment that you can buy. I'm also going to be doing hands-on tutorials out in the field about how to take different types of photography and the equipment that I use. And then I'm also going to give you some of my opinions on photography in general and I'll tell you some other photographers I follow and some other channels that I follow for tips and tricks that might be useful for you. I'm going to occasionally be doing uh, Photoshop tutorials as well. So I'll be giving you some tips and tricks about how to use Photoshop for basic edits and just some things that you can use in, in your everyday photography that you're doing. And realistically, I created this channel for the type of photographer who doesn't have thousands of dollars to spend on equipment. So not everybody can go out and buy the newest uh, Nikon lens and not everybody can buy the really expensive lenses. So I'm going to be showing you what lenses I use and none of my lenses are over a thousand dollars. None of them are even five hundred dollars. And I'll tell you how you can get them for pretty cheap. Um, I'll go through and review inexpensive lenses that you can get and use and I'll even show you what type of photos you can take with them using photos that I've actually taken with them. Now my main camera that I use is a Nikon D300, so it's not the newest camera out there, it's definitely not the most expensive. You can pick up the D300 for about $300, um, maybe less if you get it used, um, and it's, it's pretty inexpensive, and I'll show it to you real quick. So this is my Nikon D300. So this is the regular version, not the S. The S has video in it um, that you can use, which is really nice. I unfortunately don't have that as part of mine. As you can see, I actually have the battery pack that's on the bottom of this. Uh, so that's about $100 extra. So for about $400, you can get a really nice camera. It's a 12 megapixel camera. So you're not gonna be doing huge enlargements or a lot of cropping with your pictures, but it's gonna take really good photos. And six, seven years ago, it was one of the best cameras out there. It just happens to be old. Um, but I love it and I use it. So um, eventually I'll be upgrading to another camera. But just like everybody else, I can't go out and just buy a $1,000 or $2,000 camera. So, so this is a great camera if you just want to be able to get started out using professional uh, photography equipment. Um, or even if you just need a second body if you've already gotten one of those expensive cameras. This is a really nice camera to use. Um, and there's little things that, that you can do and I'll show you some tips about um, what you can use the D300 for and some things that make just your everyday shooting a little bit easier. Um, and I'll give you some of my opinions on things um, about the camera and the different equipment you could buy that may or may not be worth it as well. I also have a lot of different lenses that um, I'll be going through and using on that camera. So I'll show you how I use them, which ones are compatible with it. I'll talk about comparing different types of lenses that you can buy. I only buy Nikon lenses. I don't buy Sigma or any of the other Tamron lenses or any of the other off-brand companies. There are some really good ones out there. If you want some good reviews on them, you can go to the Angry Photographer. He does a lot of great reviews. I watch his reviews and I actually buy a lot of lenses based on his recommendations, um, so I would highly suggest him. Um, he's like the Pope of reviews for lenses. Uh, he's got a lot of great references that he's going to use in there. Um, I'm not as colorful as, as he is as far as his references, but uh, I will probably use a lot of things that he says as well. Um, and I'll talk to you about um, other people you should follow too. So um, that's pretty much it for, for now. I'm going to go ahead and upload uh, some other videos, some lens reviews, and uh, hopefully you like them. If you like it, uh, feel free to subscribe below. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. And uh, hope you have a great day shooting out there. Bye.